Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 300 moving average again, broken above, and then it gave most some of those gains back but at this point it kind of looks like that is going to happen that we're going to break above here and then start trading and uh, trending above the two 300 moving average 50 moving average that is probably going to be what will cause this to really rally the upside we will mostly cross the, the 200 moving average in the next few trading days and that usually means that long term for this uh, for this it will basically they go in the opposite direction and that it basically up that will start to appreciate last time we had a crossing here was right there and then we basically broke down and we do have um a head and shoulder pair um, forming here and it kind of looks like we are basically going to break to the upside macd at this point is uh, is bearish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is flat and still a lot of room to the upside so let's look at, look at oil so usually when the US dollar starts to appreciate it, then oil goes in the opposite uh, direction. And, and we can also see it here. We are approaching the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is at 70 uh, and trading at 71.924. MACD is very bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. Break below this candlestick there, opens the door to the 50 moving average down at roughly 70, uh, 69, give, give or take. And break below this then we are dropping all the way down to 66 and that's probably as far as this will go if you look at the weekly chart it was you can see that we are having a crossing of the macd as well here and uh, we will most likely drop all the way down to the to the previous highs here or the middle of the bullish band which is at around 66 give or take so that's also where we found the very top there so yes, it's not looking very nice for, for oil, but we have also been rallying crazy, like, like crazy um, the last few, basically last last year. So so it needed a pullback at some point. And uh, last time we pulled back here, the 20 exponential in the middle of the village band came into play and uh, pushed this even higher. So uh, that is going to be interesting to see what basically happens there. So let's look at uh, natural gas. So natural gas is also falling towards the port at the middle of the bullish band and uh, it is not basically breaking down significantly. Technical indicators are very bearish, but as long as this holds, then we could basically bounce from here and take out these previous lows, then we are going to go significantly higher. If uh, weather conditions continue in the same way that they are, um, then over North America, then we could basically see this market going higher as demand is uh, increasing for natural gas. Break below the middle of the bullish band could open the door to the previous highs here around 3.36 and the 50 moving average at the 3.2. So let's look at copper. So copper did rally today and then up towards the 20 exponential and gave all of those gains back uh, above the 20 exponential. And that is not a very good sign, to be fairly honest. MACD is bullish, uh, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is also flat. So we have been here before we have rallied up here and and uh, to end underneath the 20 exponential only means that we are just going to gradually grind this even lower if we were to rally from here then the 50 moving average will definitely most likely be an area where uh, this will also break down break below this candlestick here then we break in towards the four and then the 200 moving average and that's kind of what i'm targeting at this current stage so let's look at gold which is far more interesting than this. So gold is reaching uh, for the area where it becomes uh, really interesting. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we are running into resistance right at the 50. We have the 300 moving average and the 50 moving average just above, and we are basically at the top of the bullish band. And uh, that should be a fairly good cocktail for a lot of resistance. If we were to break above this then we have a 61.8 just above here and then we'll also be uh, probably significantly over a bot so we have been rallying really nicely since the bottom here but at this point it uh, kind of looks like we are going to 
do something like that. Uh, furthermore, the US dollar seems to be appreciating and that will definitely work against gold. So let's look at silver. So silver is uh, did rally up towards the 20 exponential. Nothing really is happening here uh, until we basically break below the 200 moving average or break above the 50 moving average. And then I have no interest in basically uh, getting involved in this market. MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. We could make a run towards the 50, uh, but if we get rejected there, then we'll just drop back towards the 200 moving average. If we do break the 50, then the 27 and the 0.5 will come into play and the previous highs here. But usually this follows gold and kind of anticipate that gold is going to drop and this will probably as well follow as it usually does. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and now the question is whether or not we go higher from here. Um, last time we were at the 50 was here, it broke down, broke down, also broke down here and uh, yes, you know, the question is if we get another red, if we get a red candlestick here closing, then we're probably dropping back towards the uh, very lows. So we're still in a, technically in a downtrend here and uh, we have a quite a lot of resistance right at the 50 moving average and we're also at the top of the bullish band. However, technical indicators are fairly bullish. So MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and so is the RSI. Break above the 50, then that could open the door to 1200. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium really fall apart today and kind of kind of expected as uh, we were not getting anywhere. We basically get stuck here and usually when you get stuck at a point and you kind of manage, it tends to basically fall on the other, side, the other direction. We did break below the middle of the bullish band and uh, at this current stage, we could be falling well all the way back towards the 200 moving average. MACD is still bullish, but is really turning around. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium, uh, yeah, this is uh, yeah, technically a hard market to trade if you're not uh, selling here or buying here. Uh, when it's basically in the middle, there's, there's not a lot that you can gain from this market at this point. We're just above the 20 exponential. Um, the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat as well. Break below the 50, then that could open the door back to this previous lows here at 23. 35 and uh, rally from here will mostly find the resistance at the 2565. It's not until we basically break above this level here that we are going to go higher. Otherwise, we have just been trading sideways. So let Nick, let's look at nickel. So nickel, very same thing here. Uh, it is basically in the middle of nowhere. Uh, interesting is when you get close to the 200 moving average and to the very top of the bullish band, taking the 200 moving average as this has basically been bouncing off uh, that area. MACD is bullish, the CASIC is, uh, is flat at this point and the RSI is flat as well. We are in a slight uptrend and uh, selling into this is kind of a bad idea. So wait until we pull uh, back towards this level here around 17,600, that's probably where it gets interesting for this market. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has really rallied quite um, surprisingly. Um, I expected this to fall even further, probably towards these previous low here, but now we have rallied significantly and it's a really bullish candlestick as well. Didn't trade this market, uh, didn't really pay attention to this market today, but uh, probably should have. So at this point, if we get, we have closed above the 50 moving average, if we get a green candlestick here, then we are probably going back towards the, to the highs here. And uh, yes, did not expect that uh, at all, as it was basically falling apart uh, yesterday and basically the last uh, two weeks. MACD is uh, bearish still, stochastic is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So it could be interesting whether or not we get a, a green candlestick here uh, tomorrow then we'll probably go back to 0 0.18. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is pulling back ever slightly as we have been rallying up towards the top of the bullish band and to the 
previous highs here where we have found resistance in the past. So we could be falling back towards support down here at 0 0.87 before continuing higher. Break above this level here, and then we are probably going to go significantly higher all the way up towards these previous highs at roughly 94, 94. Technical indicators are all bullish except for the RSI, which is slightly turning around at this point. So let's look at Krikoa. Always interesting where this uh, goes, but uh, yes, it is still just doing the same thing. It is a slight downtrend, as, but it is a very, very volatile, it's a ridiculous market to basically uh, trade because you can think that it goes, it's dropping significantly and all of a sudden this happens, it rallies by 10% and so on. So I would tend to stay away from this market, uh, but it is still technically in downtrend you can see that it is falling we are making lower lows ever slightly lower lows and and even lower lower highs and at this point kind of expecting that we are going to drop towards the 20 to 46 and then to 20 uh, 76 in the long run technically the MACD is bullish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well so let's look at wheat so this uh, market has uh, been very uh, well, very bullish to be very honest. It broke towards the 300 moving average. I expected it to touch the 300 moving average, but didn't really get there. Now we are rallied up towards the 350 uh, moving average. And uh, if we manage to break above that, then we could head towards the uh, seven, uh, 700 and 750, and then the all the highs here. But if you could reject it here, then we could easily drop back towards the 300 moving average at around 600. Hacking indicators are very bullish at this current stage, so it'll be interesting. Last time we were at the 50 moving average, and this happened. And uh, this, right in the moment, is a very bullish candlestick, as there is no pullback at the end of the session. Here we had a lot of pullback and a kind of sign that we were going to drop even lower. So I hope you find yourself a little bit more job, but subscribe and hit the like button at the bottom to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.